Howdy! Today we are going to attempt to build a dinosaur. A pretty big dinosaur actually, a Stegosaurus. Um, here's the plans. I downloaded from uh, makecnc.com. I paid for that. It's five bucks or something like that. And evidently I can show you what I do as per the terms of service. So basically this is a... Uh, I'm choosing the pattern that was cut or designed for half inch thick, which is what I've got queued up here. And this one here, you can see also that I've got now a spoil board on here, allowing for a little bit of through cut without having to touch these, um, but not impacting the aluminum table, which is good. We'll see how that works off. I faced it, so it should be nice and level to the spindle. And uh, I'm attaching this piece, you see that it gives a little bit via double-sided tape. This is a, I saw somebody else doing this on, on YouTube, so I decided to pick up some. This is from McMaster, I'll give you the part number in the comments. We'll see how it works. Looks like it had, or according to the stats, it had good tensile strength. This is two inch wide. Um, this is kind of an experiment, we'll see how it goes. So I've split up the all these parts, which comes in a big uh, DXF, DXF file. And I was able to fit it onto four two foot by four foot sheets, which is convenient since that's what I can cut without having any side hold downs, I suppose, which is where the tape comes in. And the first of such files is queued up here. I will show you what it should look like here. I'm choosing to cut this with a quarter inch uh, compression bit. This is from a Mana tool, and if you're curious, let me know and I'll give the part number for that as well. Um, this is supposedly good for MDF and plywood and general uh, laminate type stuff. With that, I think I'm queued up. I already zeroed the table out on this corner over here. And I am not doing tabs on the parts. I am just going to rely on the tape. I have four strips, four strips, approximately like so all the way across. And hopefully that'll be sufficient to provide enough adhesion so that uh, none of the parts fly up and get ruined. Um, I guess it's time to find out. So I'll take this off of simulate. We have the right tool. We are zeroed out. Um, oh, I want to run this at 2100 or 21,000 RPM. So that equals about 350 Hertz. I'll have to attach this at some point so I can control this via software. But for now, this will have to work. Also, because it takes a couple seconds to spin up, I will try to spin it up. On, 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 on. That's a little curious. Nope. Well, let's figure that one out. Okay, not sure what that was all about. Um, this little button on here didn't turn it on, so I checked connections and the wires didn't come unplugged or anything. So what I did instead was I started to do this one step at a time. And I'll, I'll step it a couple so you can see how I did it. One step. The next step should move it and also start the spindle, and it did last time, so there it is. And from here, I guess I'll just run it. Passes. 
Okay, so we got a little bit through and you see this big gouge here. That's because the spindle stopped spinning. And at the same time it stopped spinning, I noticed magic smoke. The magic smoke came out right here. Something happened. The cooling is happening. It's not hot at all. It's been cutting for like, what, a minute, two? Um, I was using the recommended uh, feeds and speeds for the particular bit. Looked like it was fine. And then magic smoke. So I have to talk to the builder about that one. I might have to warranty this or get a replacement because that's no good. So we won't be able to see a dinosaur today. This is unfortunate. Um, it was a little loud anyway. My child's trying to sleep, so... Eh. I wish you could smell it. Magic smoke. Uncool. So, uh, I guess that's it. Now, all for now. Um, disappointing. I'll let you know what happens. A couple things. First, the cuts look excellent. Very smooth. Okay. Not too bad. And it was super quick too. Which is good. This is a quarter inch wide for reference. My finger. Um, this would be a half inch wide to accept a half inch. Well, piece of plywood. Um, the error code on the VFD says OC. OC can mean a number of things, but one thing that called out to me was a short in the system, uh, which is exactly what happened. Burnt out, um, evidently. So I'll have to pull it open, see what's what, um, see where it shorted and maybe why, and I guess get a new spindle. Lame.